Him is so high and holy. No, not one. No, not one. And yet not a friend is so meek and lowly. No, not one. I sing, no, not one. Jesus, Jesus knows all about our struggle. And he will and guide. He will guide till the day is done. And there's, and there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. No, no not one. And there's not an hour that he is not near us. No, not one. No, not one. No night so dark, but his love can cheer us. No, not one. I sing no, not one. Jesus, Jesus knows all about our struggles and he will guide till the day is done and there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus no not no not one no not one no not one did ever sing Find this friend, forsake him. No, not one. No, not one. Or sinner find that he would not take him. No, not one. Sing, no, not one. Jesus, Jesus knows all about our struggles and he will guide till the day is done and there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus no not one no not one there is no, no not one, one. was ever a gift like the Savior given. No, not one. No, not one. Will he refuse us a home in heaven? No, not one. I sing, no, not one. Jesus, Jesus knows all about our struggle and he will guide he will guide till the day is done and there's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. no not one no not one i'll be singing no not one i'm singing that jesus knows he knows all about us Struggle. And he will guide, he will guide till the day is done. And there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. There's not a friend, there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. There's not a friend, there's not a friend. Like the lowly Jesus. Come on, Jesus. there's not a friend. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not, no, not one. No, not one. Oh, Jesus knows all about our struggles he will guide till the day is done and there's not a friend like the lowly jesus no not one no not one oh jesus 
Jesus knows all, all about, about our struggles. He knows. And he, he will guide God. till the day He will guide us. Done. Oh, there's not a friend like, like the, the Lord. holy Jesus. No, not one. No, one not more time. One. Oh, Jesus knows all about Jesus our knows. struggles. And he will guide till the day is done. Oh, there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Come on and give the Lord a praise. The Bible says, enter in his gates with thanksgiving and enter in his courts with praise. Praise ye the Lord. Jesus knows all about our struggles. Doesn't he know all about your struggles? Uh, won't he, didn't he promise to God uh, till the day is done? There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. The Bible says there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And that friend is Jesus. He's a friend that loveth at all times. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So we certainly do praise God for his graciousness and his mercy and his love and kindness that he has shown toward us. Truly, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where should we be? And we thank God for uh, allowing us to be in the household of faith one more time. The scripture says, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders, and he shall rule his people Israel. And we thank God that uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have that everlasting life. I thank God we got life in Jesus. Thank God we got peace in Jesus. Thank God we got help in Jesus. It's good to know where your help come from. It's good to be able to call on his grace, call on his mercy, call on his love and kindness. And the Bible says he's a very present help, uh, especially in the time of trouble. I'm reminded of that song as we get ready to go before in prayer. In times like these, we need a savior. In times like these, we need an anchor. Amen. And you've got to let your anchor hold and grip that solid rock. And his name is, his name is Jesus. He is that rock. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Oh, my God. We could talk all day about Jesus. So many wonderful things about Jesus. So many wonderful things about him. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Prince of Peace, Everlasting Father. Uh, my God, I thank him for his goodness and his mercy. I thank him for his love and his kindness. I thank him for all that he is. Uh, uh, my soul uh, cries out, Hallelujah. Somebody say Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for starting us on our way. Thank you for being our joy and our peace. Thank you for being our very present help in the time of trouble, in the time of need. My God, I don't want to take the Lord for granted. I said, I don't want to take the Lord for granted. We ought not take the Lord for granted. He woke us up this morning. He started us on our way. He put food on our table. He healed our bodies. He made ways where it seemed to be no way. He cared for us when nobody else cared. He, he showed us the way, uh, the truth and the life. He put joy down on the inside. He gave us peace that passes all understanding. He's our comforter uh, in the midnight hour. Oh, uh, we all have midnight hours. 
Thank you, Lord. There could be sun is shining. It could be noonday. But you can have a midnight hour. Uh, and the Lord will show up. And when he shows up, he shows up with healing in his wings. He shows up with peace and joy. He shows up with strength and honor and might. He shows up with all power. Ah, oh, yes, my God. Hey, hallelujah. Come on and just give him one more praise. Hallelujah. He's showing up right now. Hallelujah. Oh, taste and see. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. I said that the Lord is good. I hear the word of the Lord saying, rise and shine, for thy light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. Oh, who is that glory? Who is the glory of the Lord? His name is Jesus. He's the light of the world. He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright and morning star. When your soul is weary, he said he gives strength to the weary. Uh, he restores your soul. He gives you joy. He gives you peace. Hey, Hallelujah. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. 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 No matter what the circumstance is. No matter what the situation is. Hallelujah. 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 What's the highest praise? Give them the highest praise. Give them the highest praise. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to the great. Hey, hallelujah. And the mighty Savior. His name is Jesus. Hey, come on and give him another praise. Hey, hallelujah. Uh, tell your soul, soul, you will bless the Lord. Tell your soul, soul, you will bless the Lord at all times. Uh, and your praises and his praises shall continually, it shall continually be in our mouth. Hallelujah. 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 Thank God for our breakthroughs. Thank God for every test. Thank God for every trial. Thank God for every tribulation. Thank God for every persecution. Thank God. Thank God because you can see Jesus. Thank God because you can see Jesus. Thank God for every sickness. Thank God for every disease. Because you can see Jesus. You can see him as a healer. You can see him as a deliverer. You can see him as a comforter. You can see him as a way maker. You can see him as a heart fixer. You can see him as a mind regulator. You can see him as the bread of life. You can see him as a savior. You can see him as a deliverer. You can see him as joy. You can see him as your peace. You can see him as your strength. Hey, you can see him as your solid rock. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see why he say praise me. Hallelujah. I see why he say give him thanks. Hey, hallelujah. He's your everything. Tell your neighbor, he's my everything. He's my everything. Hey, because we go through a lot. Hey, that's why Jesus is a lot. <laughs> he's all that and more. Uh, that's why he's your everything. He's your answer to everything. He is the panacea for everything. Hallelujah. He is your everything. Hallelujah. He is my everything. Uh, hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's your everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, just give him one more praise. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me. 
Ah, let us bless his holy name. Let us bless his holy name. You know whom the Lord forgave much, love much. Huh? If you realize he forgave you much, huh, you should love him much. Uh, just think back over your life. Just think about where you're coming from. Uh, just think about all the muck and the mire that you were already in, but he brought you out. Uh, hallelujah. He brought you out. Uh, it wasn't you that brought yourself out. He brought you out. He gave his life as a ransom. He gave his soul as a ransom. He gave all that he had as a ransom for you and I. Uh, hallelujah. One time we were without hope. Uh, but when we came to Jesus, we found hope. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. We got a hope. We got a hope beyond the grave. We got a hope that endures forever. We got a hope that will last forever. We got a hope. And that hope that we have is sure. I said that hope that we have is sure. That hope that we have is confident. Uh, that hope is that we have is past understanding. We got a hope. Tell your neighbor we got a hope. Uh, hallelujah. When the world, my God, my God, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go before the Lord in prayer, but, 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 but we don't sorrow like the world sorrows. We don't go through like the world goes through. Amen. Why? Because we got a hope. We got a hope. Amen. We got a comfort. Amen. We got a comfort. We got a comforter. Uh, we got the Holy Ghost. Down on the inside. Uh, we got peace that comes through the Holy Ghost. Uh, we got mercy that comes through the Holy Ghost. We got gentleness and meekness that comes through the Holy Ghost. We got faith that comes through the Holy Ghost. We hope against hope. <laughs> because we believe in faith. We walk by faith. We walk by faith. We talk faith. Don't we talk faith? Sometimes we like David. We got to encourage ourselves. Uh, that's why he gave you that Holy Ghost. So you can encourage your own self. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My God. Sometimes you got to cry sometimes. You, you got to weep sometimes. Sometimes you got to pace the floor. Hallelujah. But, but when you're pacing, when you're weeping, when you're crying, you're just calling on Jesus. You're just thinking about Jesus. You're saying, come on through here, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Lord. Huh? And while you're pacing, while you're walking, that's your body crying out, Lord, I need you. That, them tears in your eyes is, is saying, Jesus, I need you. I need you now. Hallelujah. And then, then he'll show up. Tell your neighbor he'll show up. Ah, he'll show up. I said he'll show up. I said he'll show up. Once you empty out your soul to Jesus, it makes you feel better. When you bring your problems to the problem solver, it makes you feel better. Huh? It gives you what you need to be able to get up and go a little further. Don't he? Don't he give you what your strength to go a little further? Doesn't he give you what you need to go a little further? Uh, your feet was almost but to slip, but if it had not been, I said if it had not been for the Lord on our side, uh, the devil wanted to consume you. The devil wanted to take you out. Uh, but the Lord, the Lord of Sabaoth, hallelujah, the Lord, uh, he shows up one more time. So we praise him on today. We give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. We magnify the name of the Lord in this place. We magnify him in this place. 
We walk by faith and not by sight. Uh, we believe, we trust, and we hope in God. Amen. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, hey, Baba Shah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We want to remember every man, woman, boy, and girl. We want to remember our service on today. We want to, hallelujah, we want to remember that God is, is, is worthy to be praised. Uh, we want to remember the test and the trials that we're going through. But, but in that, remember who is our help, who is our strength, who is mighty uh, in power, in word and in deed. Ah, uh, yes. That's why he wants us to praise him. Uh, so we don't forget. Tell your neighbor, I won't forget. I won't forget where my help comes from. I won't forget who is my strength. I won't forget who's my healer. I won't forget who is my way maker. I won't forget who is my alpha and my omega. My Jehovah Jireh. My Jehovah Nisi. I won't forget. I won't forget who is my Jehovah Shalom. I won't forget. I won't forget who's my Jehovah Rapha. Uh, I won't forget. I won't forget who is my banner. The Lord my Tashik canoe. I won't forget. Uh, I won't forget. I won't forget. His name is Jesus. 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 I won't forget. Hallelujah. I won't forget. I won't forget how he brought me over the mountains and over the valleys. I won't forget uh, when I didn't have food on the table. I won't forget who fed me manna from heaven. I won't forget when my soul was dry. I won't forget when I was out there in the cold, when I was sleeping in cars. I won't forget uh, who built a house, who made a way, who opened doors, who healed our bodies, who made ways where it seemed to be no way, who shut the mouth of the game sayer. I won't forget. I won't forget. Oh, I won't forget. I won't forget when man came up against you. Don't forget. Hallelujah. When the enemy come up against you like a flood, uh, when they want to foreclose on you, don't forget who stayed the hand. Uh, don't forget it wasn't your bank account that kept you. It wasn't that uh, glory. It wasn't your blue cross and blue shield card that healed you. Uh, it wasn't the government that, that put that kind of a shun out of us. Don't forget. Don't forget. It's the Lord. The Lord of hosts. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord that's able to, to do exceeding and abundantly. Don't forget. Hey. Hey, glory. Come on and give him some praise. Come on and praise him. My God. Some of us had bar experiences. Huh, caught, up, caught up with drinking. Caught up with drugs. I'm wishing that it was a better way. Hallelujah. Don't forget who sobered you up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who Don't forget who gave you that new wine. Hey, that living wine. Don't forget. Hallelujah. It wasn't the marijuana that gave you peace. It was Jesus. It was Jesus. He gave you peace. He gave you joy. He satisfied your soul. Don't forget. Hallelujah. That's why he wants you to praise him. <laughs> so you don't forget. Notice, notice when he wants you to praise him. He wants you to praise him in tribulation. He wants you to praise him in persecution. Why? Because he don't want you to forget. <laughs> he don't want you to forget. Huh? Huh? Though this line of affliction. Be just for, for a moment. Hallelujah. Don't forget your God. Don't forget your God. Don't forget your God. 
And when you remember him, he remembers you. <laughs> hey, come on and give him the praise. Hey, shut up, my shut up. Hey, hallelujah. Oh, oh, I just got a revelation. I just got a revelation. The Lord knows all the sound that's under heaven. Uh, your praise is like a beacon system to the Lord. It's like a homing system to the Lord that grants his attention. Hallelujah. When you praise him, oh, Leroy needs my help. When you praise him, Deacon Fields needs my help. When you praise him, Lady Tracy needs my help. Hey, when you praise your God, hey, that's a signal that you need his help. Hallelujah. 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 My God, I better hold my mule so I can have something to preach when I, when I do get up. Hallelujah. Uh, but when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done, our soul cries out. Doesn't your soul cry out? Doesn't your soul cry out? Doesn't your soul cry out? Hallelujah. If I were to sing a song, I'd sing that song that, uh, how's that song go? I feel better. Uh, I feel better. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I feel better calling on the name of Jesus. I feel better calling on the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let the church stand. We're going to ask Minister Sylvester Quinn if he'd come up and lead us in prayer. Yes, we're going to go down in prayer. Yes, Lord. Oh, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Anybody got any prayer requests? Go for, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Bishop. Yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we bless your holy name. Lord God, we praise your holy name. Lord God, we give you glory, Lord Jesus. We give you glory, Lord God. We thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for watching over our loved ones, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, because you are our provider. Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we praise your name, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. And Lord God, we know if it wasn't for you, Lord God. You, we know if it wasn't for you, we would be perished, Lord Jesus. And Lord God, we thank you for all the wonderful blessings that you have bestowed upon us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you're the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. You're you're the great I am, O oh Heavenly Father, and we give you glory, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, uh, all for you being our provider, for you being our ruler and our healer, for you being our deliverer, Lord God. We give you glory, hallelujah. And Lord God, we thank you. We thank you, Father, for watching over our children, watching over them, Lord God, watching over them, Lord God. And we thank you, Father, for watching over the ones that, that's in the emergency to see room, Lord God, for watching over the ones that's in the nursery, Lord God, the nursing home, Lord God, watching over, over all of them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we praise you, we honor you, Lord God, and we give you glory, Lord Jesus. You know our hearts and our minds, Lord Father. We can't hide from you, Lord God. And Father, we thank you for all the provisions, Lord God, that you have blessed us with, Lord God. And we give you praise. We give you glory, Lord God. Oh, Father, we thank you for your mercy and grace. We thank you for your love, oh, Heavenly Father. We thank you in the name of Jesus. It's only by the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you glory. We give you glory and honor, Lord. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for, for keeping us, Lord Father, for danger seen and unseen, Lord God. And we give you glory. And Father, remember the ones that's not here, Lord God.
God. Oh, keep them in prayer. Keep them in mind, Lord God. Cover them by the blood of Jesus. And, Father, we give you glory and honor. And, Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God. Oh, Father, because you are a healer. You are our deliverer. And, Lord God, we thank you. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for the blood of the Lamb. And, Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you glory. And let us all say amen. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. You're welcome. Come on and give God a praise. We want to ask Mother Louise if she'll come and give us our scripture reading on today. Let the church remain standing. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. can't even find it. Oh, Shalom. Yeah, 14th verse, the 27th Psalm. It says, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen our heart. Wait. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall what? Wait, I say, on the Lord. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We're going to wait on you, Father. And then while we're waiting, we're going to bless your name. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. It's praise and worship time in the sanctuary. And, Father, we're here for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and bless the Lord with me. 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 Come on and bless. Come on and bless. Yeah, the Lord with me. Come on and Come bless on. the Come Lord. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless. Now is the, the time Lord to praise him. With me. Come on and bless. Come on and bless the Lord with me. You bless ought to bless the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come oh, yeah. on and bless. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Yeah. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's the highest praise? Hallelujah. We're here to bless your name. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on and clap. Come on and, and clap, clap your hands with me. Clap before the Come Lord. On and clap your hands with me. Oh. Come on and clap. Your hands with me, yeah. Come on and clap your hands with me. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's the highest praise? Hallelujah. We come to bless your name. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Come on and do, come on and do your dance with me. Come on and do your dance with me. Come on and do your dance with me. Come on and do, come on and do your dance with me. Everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's the highest praise? Hallelujah. We're here to bless.
bless your name. Hallelujah. And you are worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, you are yeah. the praise of things. Hallelujah. Come on. Oh, clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. I really love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. I really love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. I really love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Come on. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. I really love him. Say, I really love my Jesus. Come on. my Jesus. Say, I really love my Jesus. Say, I really love my Jesus. Come on and worship him. Say, I really love my Jesus. Come on. Say, I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. Say, I really love my Jesus. He's wonderful. Say, I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. Come on. Say, I really love my Jesus. Do you love him today? I really love my Jesus. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Say, Jesus. Come on, say, Jesus. I really love my Jesus. Say, Jesus. 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 Provider, 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 provider. Say, I really love my Jesus. He shelters, shelter, he shelters. Come on, he shelters. Declare it in the atmosphere. Say, I really love my Jesus. Say, I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. Say, I really love my Jesus. You are the Jesus. Say, I really love my Jesus. Hey, I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Say, I really love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Say, I really love. Say, I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. Say, I really love Lord, my Jesus. Lord, send your word. I really love my Jesus. Lord, send your healing. Say, I really love my Jesus. Send your deliverance. I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. Say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Come on. What's the highest praise? Hallelujah. We come to bless your name. Come on and worship him. Hallelujah. Come on and give him some glory. Hallelujah. Wave your troubles away. Hallelujah. Praise him in the midst of. your name. Hallelujah. Because you are worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and bless him. Come on and give him glory. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Father. We're here to bless your name, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You're worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. And you're able to do exceedingly and abundantly exceedingly. above all that we're able to ask or think. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Exceedingly. Yes, Lord. Abundantly.
abundantly yes. above all. Uh-huh. All you could ask or think. Yes, Lord. According to the power that worketh in you, 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 God is able to do just what he said he will do. Oh, yes, he will. Fulfill, he's gonna fulfill every promise to you. But don't give up on God, don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able, God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's gonna fulfill, He's gonna fulfill every promise, every promise to you. But don't yes, give up on God. Don't give up on God. No. Come on, cause He won't give up on you. He's able. Oh, if you believe it, why don't oh, you sing it with us? He's able. Just tell somebody he's able. Oh, 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 tell your soul he's able. that God is able. Oh, 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 he's able. Yeah. Oh, 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 look at your trouble. Oh, look at your trials. He's He's able. Yes, he's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. God is able. Speak to your situation. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. God is able. He's 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 able. He'll pick you up. He's able. He'll turn you around. He's able. He'll place your feet. Speak to your situation. On the ground. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. God is able. He's full when you need. He's able. Shelter. He's able. He's able. He's able. God is able. He's able. Ask what you win. He's able. In his name. He's able. He's gonna do. He's able. God is able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. Say, yeah, 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 yeah,
because he's able. Amen. God bless you. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Come on and give him a praise if you know your God is able. Hallelujah. The three of you Hebrew boys, he'll, they'll tell you that God is able. Daniel in that lion's den, he'll tell you that God is able. The children of Israel uh, at the Red Sea, they'll tell you that God is able. And they had a repeat in front of the Jordan River. They'll tell you that God is able. God is able to do exceeding. God is able. Whatever you need, whatever you desire, he's able. Hey, come on, just give him a wave offering. Hallelujah, give him a wave offering. And just say, you're able, God. You're able, God. Whatever you're facing, just say, you're able, God. Whatever you're dealing with, just say, you're able, God. He's Whatever able. you need, just say He's you're able, able. God. Uh, you're He's able, able, God. You're able, He's God. Able. You're able to move mountains. You're able to pour out blessings. You're able to send deliverance. You're able to shut the mouth of the gang. You're able. He's able. He's able. He's able. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Why don't you stand to your feet and come on and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. The Lord wants you to praise him. Praise him in this hour. Praise him in this moment. Praise him in this situation. Pray at Kabosha because your God is able. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We certainly do. Thank and praise God for our first lady. Amen. Lady Tracy Quinn, come on, give God a praise for her. Amen. We thank God for all of our ministers and pastors in their absence. We thank God for our deacons. Amen. Deacon Fields and Deacon uh, Daniels, we thank God for them. Amen. And we certainly do thank God for our media team. Amen. We praise God for them and all of our ushers. And we certainly do praise and thank God for each and every one of you pressing your way, being in the household of faith. And we certainly do thank God for our e-church, our e-followers. Hallelujah. We thank God for you as well. Truly, God is great, and he's greatly to be praised. As we say, from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, the Lord is greatly to be praised. And I thank God for our praise and our worship leaders uh, who usher us in to the presence of the Lord. And we don't look at them to make that move for us. They're just there to help us, amen, to give us that direction that we need wherein we ourselves become the instruments of God, amen. We don't spectate on them. God spectates on us. Hallelujah. He beholds our worship. He beholds our praise, Amen. So when we praise and we worship him, it changes the atmosphere. Amen. It brings the glory of God uh, and makes it manifest in this place. That's what the Shekinah glory of God means. It means his manifested presence. Somebody say Shekinah. Amen. Shekinah glory. His, mes his, 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 his presence is with us. Amen. And, you know, that's why I'm going to move on and take the offering. But that's why I love uh, the old-time church. The old-time church would have praise and worship and testimony service for a whole hour, hour and a half. Amen. Why? Because they, they were literally bringing in the presence of the Lord. Some people may say it don't take all that, but it take all that and more. Amen. Because uh, you want to feel his presence. That's where miracles, signs, and wonders happen in his presence. That's where people get healed in his presence. Uh, that's, where, that's where you'll see the, the, the Shekinah, the smoke fills the room, the, the temple where God's glory resides and where God's glory is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So it's comely for us to praise him. Amen. It's, it's, 
it's, it's comely for us to worship him. Amen? Uh, I don't want to be in a church where nobody praising him, uh, nobody worship him, nobody calling on the name of Jesus. Hey, nobody lifting him up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'd be like shouting John. I'd tell you to hold my mule. Hallelujah. And i shout myself. Hallelujah. Because God is great. God is great, and he's greatly to be praised. Amen. So as we get ready uh, to go before the Lord in our giving, amen, <clears throat> we certainly want to, by way of announcements, we certainly want to uh, announce that, you know, we're going to be moving January 9th. So we need all of our brothers and all of our sisters to come uh, be at the church here. Uh, at least by 8 o'clock in the morning, amen, so that we can move the bulk of our stuff uh, to our new location, amen, 930 Liberty Street, amen, amen. Pastor Quinn can't move everything by himself, <laughs> amen. Hey, Y'all shouldn't want Pastor Quinn to move everything by himself, amen. Hallelujah. So let us let us plan. Let us plan uh, to move things. They, they're painting the building. They're getting things ready for us, amen, our worship service, so that we can not miss a beat, amen, hallelujah, and also too, um, as far as watch night service, uh, due to the COVID-19, we won't be having watch night service here at Christian Ministries, but we certainly do all want to come together and pray at midnight, amen, thank you, Lord, hallelujah, let us pray at midnight and give God thanks, and give God praise. Build you an altar in your home. Amen. And worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Give God thanks. Amen. All right. It's blessing time. It's blessing time. And the Bible says the Lord loves a cheerful giver. And we ought to give unto the Lord as he has blessed us and has given unto us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So as we prepare for our giving uh, remember that the tithes belong to the Lord, the tithes and the offering. Uh, the 10% of all of your increase uh, goes to the Lord. And um, the Lord has asked you for also an offering, a sacrifice that you give unto him. Thank you, Lord. And so let us, let us prepare our hearts for giving and let the church stand. Thank you, Jesus. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to sow seed into the kingdom. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every soul that is sowing seed here at this moment. Bless them 30, 60, and 100 fold and rebuke the devourer. And Father, we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And those that are online with us on today, we ask that you would sow through our tithely our online giving, just download Tidely, follow the commands, and then uh, look up Christian Ministries of the Apostolic Faith Church and begin to give. Those that are here in the city that desires to give, you can drop it in on our drop box, amen, and, and it's secure, and you can give that way. Oh, give thanks yes, Lord. unto the Lord. For he is the Lord good. is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give, oh, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. For he is good. The Lord is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. The Lord is worthy. He's worthy. Yes, Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. Yes, Lord. He's worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. For he is good. He is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, yes. Oh, oh give, give thanks, 
unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Oh, yes. For he is good. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. Yes. He's worthy. Oh, yes. For he is good. He's good. Yes, he is good. Amen. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Amen. The Lord is good. And his mercy uh, truly endureth forever. If I had another song, I would sing, If it had not been for the Lord on our side, there's no telling where we would be. And the Lord is, is good to each and every one of us. Amen. He's been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And I certainly do praise God for that. I praise him. Amen. Because when I didn't have or didn't know myself, the Lord had a plan. When you didn't know yourself, the Lord has a plan for you. And as we begin to uh, mark this day, uh, day after our Christmas celebration, not a day after, but uh, days after our Christmas celebration and our time that we've spent uh, in the presence of the Lord, we certainly do thank God for uh, what he is doing and, and how he has made ways for us. Amen. And I truly praise God. I truly praise God. Now, I could have dealt without all this snow, <laughs> but, that's, but I still praise him. <laughs> Hallelujah. We made it. But tell somebody we made it. Thank you, Jesus. And, and you know, we Sometimes snow got to fall. It got a very reason. It's got a purpose. Uh, so it's like we have a reason. Like we have a purpose. Uh, I don't want to be before you long here on today, um, but I do have a word from the Lord, and I want you to stand with me and just stand with me as we uh, begin to look at Matthew chapter. Uh, number two, Matthew chapter number two, amen. When you have it, say amen. When you have it, say amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, there we go. Praise God, all right. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew chapter number two, and I want to begin reading at verse number one. And I don't uh, read uh, too much, too many times, but I do want to read verses one through number 12. If you have it, say amen. Matthew chapter two, verse number one, it says, Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there were wise. There came wise men from the east, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and the scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And there, and they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thou, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah, are not thou least among the princes of Judah? For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently that they, what time the star appeared. And he set them to Bethlehem and said, 
Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. And when they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. Verse number 10. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced and with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, he wasn't in the manger, he was in the house. They saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. O oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly thank you for this opportunity to preach your anointed word. We thank you for this power that you have given unto us. And we ask you, Lord, that you uh, manifest your grace, open the door of utterance, give us ears to hear. Father, we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And I want to take for a thought this morning from that verse number two, saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and come to worship him. Come to worship him. And that's our subject for today. We come to worship him. Tell your neighbor, we come to worship him. It's good for us to be able to have that mindset to worship the Lord. It's comely for us to worship him. When we, uh, in our text here on today, we see that these wise men, these wise men kings, came to worship Jesus. They came from the east to pay homage and respect to Jesus. And they traveled for months leading up to this point wherein they would see Jesus in Bethlehem of Judea. And they came to respect him and to honor him because he was in literally the class of a king. These wise men, they searched out and they heard uh, through the captivity of Israel when they were down there in Babylon, those 70 years, and the king of Persia actually took over uh, Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon. They, Daniel was there, and they were uh, learning of the scriptures and learning about a time when their Messiah would appear. The book of Numbers tells us that a star of Jacob would appear, and the book of Isaiah says that it was going to be a light that would be shining among the Gentiles. So these wise men, they were students of the scriptures, and they were, were actual two astrologers, and they were kings. And they themselves were reading of the word of God, and they came and followed Jesus because God had put a star in the sky that would lead them unto Christ. And as they were following Jesus and headed that way, they didn't necessarily come to worship Jesus as the Messiah. They didn't come to worship him as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. They came to worship him as a fellow king. There's a lot of people that, that recognize Jesus as a great prophet. They recognize Jesus as a great teacher, but 
they failed to recognize him as being the Messiah, the Messiah, the anointed king, the anointed prophet, and the anointed priest. And Jesus, as we read in the scriptures, there are a lot of people that have trouble worshiping Jesus, like King Herod. King Herod, uh, as you know, if you read your Bible, that King Herod, he, he had a trouble with with, with those that would buck up against his authority, and he wanted Jesus dead. He wanted him wiped out. Amen. The Bible tells us there's of 21 times where even Satan uh, tried to attack Jesus and have him wiped out. Even before he was born, they wanted him wiped out. Amen. There's a lot of people that, that don't like Jesus. There's a lot of people that don't understand Jesus. There's a lot of people that don't understand that he has great power, that he has great anointing, that he came to save those that were lost. That a lot of people don't understand, and because they don't understand, they get confused, and they want to destroy him. And to the fact where even King Herod lied about uh, wanting to worship him. You've got to keep your eye open for people that come to church and, and not really coming for the right reasons and not coming for the right purpose. Not, not everybody that comes to church is looking for Jesus. Some people come looking for a wife. Some, some people come looking for a husband. Some, some people come to get over, uh, to ask for alms and offerings, to to, to felice the saints for some particular reason. Some people come just to cause hell Hallelujah! in the church to top, stop the praise and to stop the worship. And you've got to keep your mind and your eyes open for those kind of people because not everybody has the same motive. Not everybody has the same purpose. Not everybody has the same idea. But but the Bible tells us that we ought to enter in his gates with thanksgiving. We ought to enter in his courts with praise. We ought to enter into his presence with, with a mind that I'm coming to worship the Lord. I'm, I'm coming to worship the Lord. I'm coming because I want to give him thanks. I'm coming because I want to give him praise. I'm coming so I can magnify the name of the Lord. For the Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth in and they are safe. And when people realize and, and come to conclusion about who Jesus is, they, they can worship him with greater ease. They can worship him with greater, with greater majesty and with greater honor, with greater purpose in their heart. Uh, you've got to know what you're worshiping. You've got to know who you're worshiping. You've got to know how to worship him. And that's why I like the, I like the wise men when they, when they found him, when they found Jesus, they, they presented him with some sacrifices. They presented him with some gifts and with some treasures. When you come into the house of the Lord, you should come to uh, not looking for something necessarily, but to offer him something, to offer him praise, to offer him worship, to offer him gifts. They came in and they offered him gifts of gold, which represented his deity, which represented his which represented his honor. They offered him frankincense, which represented him being a sweet smelling savior. Uh, and they offered him myrrh, which represented his death, that, that he would be the sacrifice for you and I. You, you've got to realize that when you're worshiping Jesus, that, that you're worshiping a king, the one who is above everything, that can do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you're able to ask or think. You've got to worship him because he's a sweet-smelling savior, that he's the savior of your body, that he's the one that was anointed before the foundation of the world to heal you, to deliver you, to bring you out of captivity. Uh, those that sat in darkness, the Bible says, they saw a great light. And, and that light was Jesus. That, 
that light was Jesus. Jesus is that shining light. And uh, he's that light that shineth in our hearts. And, and we come to worship him. And we realize that, that the Bible says that we were all dead in our trespasses and sin that 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 we were dead that we were sinners and we were sinners saved by grace and oh my god and i thank god that jesus came as the lamb of god that that gave his life for a ransom you and i you've got to understand what you're worshiping here Hallelujah. You're not just worshiping a flim flam or a fly by night. You're worshiping him that came down through 40 and two generations. Him, uh, the son of David, the son of Abraham, the son of God. God, the, the lily of the valley and the bright and morning star. You've got to know that you're worshiping him that gave his life as a ransom for you uh, so that you might live, that, so that you might overcome the devil, so that you might overcome every obstacle that stands in your way. You know, sometimes, brothers and sisters, we, we miss out on what we need to, because we don't worship him. Sometimes we miss out on what we desire because we don't worship him. And, 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 and when we come to Jesus, we uh, can come to him that's wounded, worn, and sad. But in him we can find a resting place. Uh, tell your neighbor, I found a resting place. Uh, I found him that is able to pick me up. Uh, I found him that is able to turn me around. I found him that is able to put my feet uh, on that solid ground. I, I found him that is able to turn me from darkness to light. Uh, that is able to turn me from following after Satan uh, and put me on the street called straight. Uh, uh, he's the one that, that I worship. He's the one uh, that I give homage to. He's the one that I respect because he's the one that was given unto us. The Bible says that unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Oh my God and he alone is wonderful. Uh, tell your neighbor he's wonderful. Uh, he's a wonderful counselor. He's the mighty God, the Prince of Peace, uh, the everlasting Father. I, I see why. I see why when I begin to worship him, uh, heaven and earth falls in order. I, I see why when we begin to worship him, uh, mountains are moved. I, I see why when we begin to worship him, uh, you feel better in your spirit. Uh, you feel better better in your soul you feel better in your mind why because he can be touched with the feelings of your infirmities he he knows your every need he knows your every desire oh my god he he was made for you he was made for me my god feel i feel that that because he was made for us uh, that we can worship him uh, the bible tells us uh, uh, there's a prescribed way uh, that you must worship him uh, the bible says that if you're going to worship him uh, you've got to worship him uh, in spirit and in truth uh, i know that the bible says uh, that let everything that have breath uh, Praise ye the Lord. Uh, uh, everything that have breath, uh, they should praise him. Uh, uh, the animals should praise him. Uh, oh my God. Uh, the atheists should praise him. Uh, uh, the butt bought believer should praise him. Uh, the sinners should praise him. Uh, let the babies praise him. Uh, let the old men and old women, let them praise the Lord. Everything that has the breath, the breath of life, they should praise the Lord. Especially those that got the Holy Ghost. Oh, no, God, God, you should praise him the more. Why? Because you got power. The Bible says that ye shall receive power 
after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You see, when you got the Holy Ghost, that tongue-talking Holy Ghost, down on the inside, you can't help but to praise Him. You can be broke, busted, and disgusted, and say in your own mind, I'm not going to say a word about the Lord, but something will get to moving. Something will get to moving down on the inside. And it'll be like fire set up in your bones. You just come to the and somebody talk about he being food. Somebody say that he's a healer. Somebody say he's a maker. And then that thing will happen unto you. And you'll the longer you'll shout. You'll wave your hands. You'll start praising. You'll start worshiping. Because that spirit that's in you is also in Christ Jesus. You can't help but to praise him. You can't help but to give him thanks. Because when you hear that truth going on in the house of God, when you know him as a way maker, when you know him as a heart fixer, when you know him as a healer, when you know him as your joy, when you know him as your peace, you can't help hallelujah to praise him you can't help but to give him glory you can't help but to say lord i thank you i thank you lord for waking me up this morning i thank you for starting me on my way i thank you for leading me out and bringing me in i thank you oh you ought to clap your hands and give your god a praise you ought to say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for being good. I thank you for being good. Oh, I thank you for being good. I thank you for being good. Good to me. Oh, clap your hands. Give God praise my God, my God. So when we look at our text on today, uh, I got another five more minutes. Uh, Y'all just bear with me. Uh, oh, God, because when we look at our text, uh, uh, the wise men said, uh, I come to pray, I come to worship him. Uh, I want to tell you uh, that you're wise uh, if you come to worship him. Uh, you're wise in your own mind uh, if you come to worship him. Now, the Bible teaches us uh, that our lifestyle, the life that we live, uh, ought to be a signal, uh, ought to be a worship uh, unto the Lord. Uh, when you bring your body uh, as a living sacrifice, uh, holy and acceptable unto God, uh, you're worshiping him. Uh, you've got to understand uh, that everything that you do in word and deed, the Bible tells you to do it all in the name of Jesus. And when you do it in the name of Jesus, you're worshiping him. Oh God, when we go through our tests and our trials and we don't say a murmuring word and when we don't complain about our situation, we give him praise we give him thanks we're actually worshiping him but when I sit down and begin to murmur and complain I'm worshiping but I'm worshiping the devil I'm giving the devil more strength in my life I'm giving the devil more power over my condition oh I want you to hear me here when I start murmuring and complaining I lose strength. I lose the anointing. I 
lose the favor and I'm giving devil increase I'm letting the devil increase his authority his power I'm letting him increase his strength over my life oh but when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me I start giving God praise I start gaining strength I start gaining power when I start meditating oh, and giving God thank you and blessing the Lord at all times I start to feel better you start to feel better you start to see things clearly because whoever you yield your members to obey that's whose servant you are to whom you obey we ought to yield our members unto righteousness we ought to yield our praise unto God we ought to clap our hands and stop our feet oh my God and see God move oh when you clap your hands heaven will get in alignment the Bible says that the clapping of the hands is a sign of war that causes situation the strongholds to stop you breaking down the strongholds every time you clap your hands you're bringing down strongholds every time you stomp your feet you're bringing down strongholds every time you shout you shout the victory oh my god you become an instrument of praise and worship when you shout shout with a voice of triumph shout with the voice of victory when you scream oh you become a worship instrument unto God that's why he said make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands Lord upon him and bless his name oh my God when you see me coming I'm coming to worship when I see you coming and you said I'm coming to worship I'm coming to give him praise I'm coming to magnify him when you're on your job and they acting funny you gotta praise them when you're at home and they clowning and acting up don't you worry you ought to praise them you ought to worship you ought Give God thanks. Come on and give God praise. Oh my God. When you worship the Lord, you become an instrument. An instrument of praise. An instrument of sacrifice. An instrument of worship. That's why he said, Oh, come. Come all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give thee rest. That's why he said come. Oh, when you come boldly to the throne of grace, you lie there and worship. Lord, it come on shot out of my shot. I don't see how. I don't know when. But I will worship. I will bless you. I will magnify you your holy name hey hallelujah 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 yokes are being destroyed Hallelujah. Strongholds are being come down. Hallelujah. Ways are being made. Healing. Healing. Healing and deliverance. Hey, Calamos. Clap your hands for some healing. Clap your hands for some deliverance. Clap your hands for some power. Clap your hands. Hey, Calamos. Hallelujah. Shout with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, shalalabasha. 
Some may say this is foolish, but the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We under an open heaven. The power of God is in this place. Hallelujah. As Brother Steve was is clapping his hands, I thought about healing for his wife. Hallelujah. Deliverance for his wife. As Brother Randy was clapping his hands, hallelujah, I thought about deliverance. Hey, hallelujah. Breakthrough. 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 Hallelujah. We got to know that our lifestyle is worship. <laughs> Hallelujah. Everything we do is worshiping God. We've been bought with a price. We are not our own. Jesus paid the price. Uh, we have his name. We have his spirit. We have his power. And we come to worship. We come to present our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. We're so tough, we're so bad that we are not conformed, but we're transformed by the renewing of our minds. And when we come, hallelujah, we transform situations. We transform conditions. We're able to speak that which is not as though it is. Why? Because we worship us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Children acting up? Worship. <laughs> hallelujah. Money acting funny? Worship. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your body acting up? Worship. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need some new clothes? Worship. Ah, your soul is dry. Worship. Yeah, worship him. Yeah, hallelujah. Worship him. Ah, enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Worship him. Yeah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why? Because you're worshiping the bread of life. You're worshiping the great physician. You're worshiping the healer, the deliverer. Uh, you're worshiping the mountain mover. You're worshiping the, bore, the burden bearer. You're worshiping the Bob and Gilead. You're worshiping him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who is more than capable of opening you up the windows of heaven. Pouring you out blessings. That you don't have room enough to receive. In my closing here. God understands every sound of heaven. God knows when you're worshiping him. Because you're rejoicing. He knows that when you're worshiping him. Because you're just worshiping him because he's good. And he knows when you're worshiping him when you're in trouble. Hallelujah. He knows. Thank you, Lord. Mothers have a distinctive ear. They know when their baby is playing. Huh? They know when that child is in trouble. Hallelujah. There's a distinctive cry. Hallelujah. And come running. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. There's a girl that was swimming in the water. She did like me, jumped in the deep end, couldn't swim. <laughs> Ain't that foolish? Hey, I didn't want to get off track, but that's dumb. Don't do that. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. She jumped in the deep end. Her daddy was on the side. He was talking to somebody. Thank you, Lord. And then he got to looking around for his baby, didn't see her. And then he saw her and under the water with her hands lifted up. He saw that, knew that she was in distress, jumped in the water, and rescued her. When you are in distress, you lift up your hands to the Father. He'll jump in. Hallelujah. And rescue you. 
He'll deliver you out of your situation, out of your problem. Hallelujah. You should say in your mind that I come to worship. Mm, I come to worship. Thank you, Jesus. I see in high school, I ain't going to tell you where I'm going to tell you where I went. I went to that academy high school. Amen. The house on the hill. <laughs> and my God, I, there's some things that happened up there I ain't never seen in my life. Oh, hallelujah. But, but, but there came a time where some of them girls would, didn't like them other girls. And they used to come in all dressed and clean, but they came in this time, had the blue jeans on, had their hair braided back, had their face all greased up, and they told me, hey, Frank, it's on. They, they come to fight. Amen? They come to fight. Amen? Thank you. They weren't playing around. Ain't no time to be cute. Huh? When, when, when situation is going on in your life, Huh? You got to come to fight. Huh? Ain't no time to be cute. Huh? Ain't no time to be cute. It's time to worship. Hey, it's time to worship. It's time to call on the name of the Lord. It's time to worship him. Hey, hallelujah. Better pull your hair back. I ain't got no hair. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I'll pull something back. Thank you, Jesus. Anoint yourself with some oil. Come to worship. Let the church stand. My God. Gracious Father, in the precious and the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this anointing that's in this place. We thank you for the power. We thank you for the deliverance. We thank you for the glory that is here. Lord, we're going to be wise like the wise men. Come to worship. Come to bring you a sacrifice. And Lord, when we come to any situation, when we come to any problem, when we come to any place, Lord, we come to worship. Lord, we pray that everybody under the sound of our voice would hear this word and be doubly blessed. Doubly blessed in their conditions. Doubly blessed in their situations. Lord, I have given them what you have given me to give to them. Now, Lord, equip them. Hallelujah. When they clap their hands, Lord, that it's an instrument of war. Uh, when they shout with the voice of triumph, hear their humble cry. Lord, when they stomp their feet, uh, shake the ground beneath them. When they open their mouth and sing praises, like Paul and Silas did at midnight. Uh, open up the gungeons. Open up the pit of hell. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And set the captive free. Father, we are instruments of worship. We are instruments of praise. And Lord, you have given us even those instruments that we don't need to plug in to battery sources. Because we have the Holy Ghost. He supplies us the power and the strength to bless you at all times. And our praise will continually, your praise will continually be in our mouth. Father, we thank you. We praise you in Jesus' name. May the Lord watch between me and thee. While we're absent, one from another. In Jesus' name, amen. We got one more thing I forgot, my, my bad. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all may be seated. Thank you, Lord. The Clark family, uh, would y'all come forward at this time? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. They have a desire to, to be members of Christian ministries. Amen. <laughs> Look at Kiki acting up. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. We have a beautiful family here. Amen. The Clark family. Hopefully they'd be the Clark singers. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. We got my man Maurice Clark here. Why don't you come over here? Amen. Let's stand right there. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good.
going to give God the praise for this beautiful family. <laughs> Amen. Is it your desire to be members of Christian ministries? Yes. He said, I always thought I was a member. <laughs> That's what he said. Amen. But, but you know, we got to ex extend that, 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 that formality. Amen. Amen. So we can extend that formality to the Clark family. Amen. Amen. And, and do the. Oh, let me get my mask. I'm sorry. Thank you, Lord. I'm, I, I would have you all come around and shake their hand. Let the church stand. Just, just extend to them your right hand as we give them the right hand of fellowship. God bless the, the, the Clark family. Amen. May the Lord watch over them and keep them.